Hello there. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, good to hear, good to hear. All right, let's go over the directions for today's reading, which is The Castle in the Attic, Chapter 9. Okay, granted, while I go through this, it's going to look a little different because I haven't published it yet. So meaning you can't see it yet, so that's why. It might look a little different for when it actually shows up for you. Okay, today, what we need to do is, first thing, we are reading Chapter 9 today of Castle in the Attic. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is to read chapter nine. And again, there's my video if you wanna follow along as I read aloud, or here's the text right here if you'd rather just read it on your own. But you need to read all of chapter nine. It is a little longer of a chapter, just to give you a heads up with that. And then we're going to be using our inference skills again today to complete this lesson. So reminder, our inferencing skills are when you know the author doesn't tell us something directly, but we're able to use all the clues and use a good educated guess to figure out what's going on. Okay, This is the assignment right here, which you'll attach to. I'm gonna open it on this Google Doc because mine looks different than yours. It looks sloppy. I want it to look a little neater for you when I explain it to you. So these are the, on the, the instructions. It says, on the top of page 87, which you're reading today, the text says, William had a funny feeling in his chest. He knew if he tried to say anything, he would start to cry. They stood there a moment longer without speaking. So you're going to come across that as you read today. What you're going to do then is you're going to use your inference skills to explain why William has this funny feeling and why he feels like he could start to cry. So again, you're going to use all the clues as you're reading to figure out, okay, well, why is William feeling funny? Why does he at this moment feel like he could cry? So you're going to be a reading detective there to figure it out using your inference skills. Okay, This storyboard has two cells to it. The first cell is complete, and you do not need to do anything to that cell. So if you look here, I've created the template right here. Notice it's two cells, one, two. Um, I put the quote down below. You don't need to write anything there. You don't need to do anything at all in this cell. See, what I've created is there's William, William's father, that's what William's father says is saying when they're in the attic to William as William starts to feel this way. It feels like he could start crying. Okay, and notice he's sad there. There's our castle, they're in the attic. So that's the first cell. So you don't need to do anything when you open it up to that first cell. That's done for you. But what you do need to do on the second cell, right here. On the second cell, you need to write what William is thinking in his thought bubble and then create what he was thinking visually using pictures, right? So you represent it visually. So here, so notice, imagine these are connected. You're gonna imagine what William is thinking here. So you're gonna use those inference skills to determine, well, what's probably William thinking or thinking about? Why is he feeling so weird and funny? Why does he feel like he wants to cry? And then in this text box right here in this thought bubble, you're gonna write what William is thinking. So it's your job to use your inference skills to infer what William is thinking, and you're going to write that in this box. So reminder that if it's what William's thinking, it should be written in first person. So it should be like I, you know, those words. It's not you're not telling about William. You are matching. You are William, and you're going to write in first person what he's thinking, what he is thinking about there. Give a full thought. So that should be at least a full sentence, if not two or three. Okay, and then you need to represent that, what is going on in his head, in his thoughts, visually here. You're gonna create a picture of it. So again, this, you'll write in words what he's thinking, and then you'll show what he's thinking through pictures, okay? So if he's thinking about, for instance, I don't know, Mrs. Phillips, and how sad he is that what he's done to her or whatever, you could somehow represent that right there, okay? So again, that's you're using your inference skills to imagine what he's thinking. So you're going to show what he's thinking and then tell what he's thinking right there. Okay. Reminder that you will use your inference skills. So the text or author is not going to tell you directly what William is thinking. However, using our inference skills, we can be detectives and pretty closely figure it out. Now, when you're done, you're going to download the storyboard. You'll upload it and submit it on school and Schoology when you are complete. So make sure to submit it to be done you have to download the image and upload it to the Schoology assignment and then submit it. 
all right? And that's how you get done with it. So again, you'll use this template. The link to the storyboard that will be on the assignment on Schoology when you look at it there, okay? So again, read chapter nine, okay? And then you're gonna complete this inference activity to go along with it, that goes along with chapter nine, all right? Then you will download the storyboard, upload it, and submit it on Schoology to the Schoology assignment when you are complete. As you get, if you get into it and you get confused, just let me know and I can help you out. All right, good luck to you. I know you'll do awesome.